Welcome once again. Right now we're at 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 14 through 21. Not in word, but power. Paul says, I don't write these things to shame you, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you have 10,000 tutors in Christ, you don't have many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the good news, through the gospel. I beg you, therefore, be imitators of me. Because of this, I have sent Timothy to you, who is my beloved and faithful child in the Lord, who will remind you of my ways which are in Christ, even as I teach everywhere in every assembly. Now some of you are puffed up, as though I were not coming to you. The word puffed up here means you're arrogant, you're proud, there's pride in your heart, puffed up. So Paul says, some of you are puffed up as though I were not coming to you, but I will come to you shortly, if the Lord is willing. And I will know, not the word of those who are puffed up, but the power. For God's kingdom is not in word, but in power. What do you want? Shall I come to you with a rod or in love and a spirit of gentleness? For God's kingdom is not in word, but power. What does that mean? You know, there are lots of ways that God displays his power. But one of the most powerful of all of his displays of power is the change of someone's life. When you can say, listen, I am born again. All of my old self is dead. I am a new creation in Christ. Brand new, okay? Brand new creation in Christ. My sinful self is dead. I am crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I but Christ lives in me. And now I live in complete submission to him because he lives through me. That is one of the most amazing of God's displays of power. Remember Elijah when he put the animal on the altar and he called the prophets, the false prophets, and he said, if you truly have a connection with the true God, call him to consume this sacrifice with fire. They prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and there was no answer. And Elijah stepped up and he soaked everything. He soaked the animal. He soaked the wood. He soaked everything. Everything was flooded. And then he called on the Lord. And the Lord answered by fire. And when you lay upon that altar, and when the fire of God comes and burns up that sacrifice, burns up all of your old ways, burns up all of your old self, burns up the sinner, and you become born again. You become a saint. You become holy. You are then and only then a true child of God. That is one of the most amazing of all of God's displays of power. It's vain just to go around talking about God, talking about Jesus, if there's no display of holiness, if there's no power over sin. The scripture says, if you sin, you are a slave to sin. And if you don't have that connection with God, like Elijah did, that will break the slavery of sin in your life, that will cause that old self to be consumed by the fire of God, then really, what is it but just words? We're not here just speaking words alone. We are here believing, trusting in, and practicing the power of God to change lives. Seek him with all your heart. And if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.